guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nickels YouTube channel. Today is Monday, and we're not going to do like a main deck Monday, we're Tuesday, expanded Thursday. What we're doing is seeing some decks before the new team up set goes online. Uh, now, last Tuesday, we actually covered the Flareon deck. So today, we covered Jolteon. Uh, Tuesday, we are covering the Vaporeon deck. Um, Wednesday, we're doing a vlog. Thursday, we're going to do a Meganium Mill deck uh, that I, looks really interesting, and I'm excited to play that. And then Friday, of course, will be Fan Friday, and then Team Up should be legal. I think it's going to be legal this week, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, it becomes legal this weekend. I don't I didn't look at the time, see when it becomes legal. But today, we're looking at Jolteon GX. Now, I know, I know. This deck gets a lot better when Team Up comes out with Jirachi and Zapdos and Electro Charger and stuff like that. But today, we're going to play it in Standard uh, before the set is legal because I still think Jolteon is super strong even without Jirachi and Zapdos. Now, when that set does come live, it is gets it gets a lot more friends. It gets a lot more power and stuff like that. So let's look at this deck. Let's see what it's about and why is Jolteon so strong. Uh, shout out to Yeti Gaming and Casey uh, from, I guess... I guess Tupla, I don't know if Casey has a shop or not. I guess, um, oh, Casey's gonna be mad at me. I can't remember what shop it is in Tupelo. Um, I don't know. Can't remember what it is, but Casey hooked me up with a code. Casey, Casey hooked me up with a code, and then Yeti gave me hook up some codes for the Jolteons. So let's go over Jolteon. Um, if you don't know, Jolteon is a 200 HP Pokemon. It has the attack Electro Bullet. It does 30 and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We've seen this for multiple times, as in Buzzwell, Landorus, and probably some more Pokemon as well, but those are the two that come to my head. And then we have Headbolt, which does 110 damage, which doesn't seem like it's too strong, right? 110, I mean, it does, actually it does. No, it seems really, really good. With just 200 Gs, you have a 200 HP monster, you do Headbolt 110 damage. Now, you might, might be asking, why is it strong? Well, with the Choice Spin, you do 140 and then with an Electro Power, you do 170 damage. Now, this can also increase more and more with how many Electro Powers you play during your turn. And the reason why this deck gains more popularity when the new set comes out is Electro, electro Charger gets back your Electro Powers, so you can recycle them over and over again. So a really, really strong attack, right? Headbolt looks really good. You can display Electro Chargers, do a ton of damage with Headbolt, and then get it back with Electro Charger the following turn. And you can play two of them, so you can boost it up by 60. It doesn't There's not a cap, right? What during, during this turn, your Lightning Pokemon stack do 30 more damage. You play it again, they have another 30 more damage. So you can do a ton of damage with Electro Power. You play two of them, you do it 170. Uh, with Choice Spin, you're doing 200 damage. Great. And plus, you're softening stuff up with Electro Bullet. So if you do Electro Bullet, the active to the bench. With Choice Spin, you're doing 60 and 30. Next turn, you're doing Head Bolt. You can do a significant amount of damage just spreading the uh, spread of the damage around. And then we have a really cool GX stack, Swift Run, Swift Run GX, it does 110, so same amount of damage, but you prevent all effects of attacks, including the damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So the, he takes no damage, right? He's just safe, he's good to go, we're not getting hurt or anything like that. So really cool uh, Jolteon GX, uh, build, uh, GX stack, really, really nice. And of course we're playing the Evolution Energy, uh, Energy Evolution EV to get our Jolteons at ASAP. So other stuff in the deck is Ditto, of course. Ditto can evolve into some stuff. Or in Guru for that, Struct. And the reason why I'm playing Struct is we're playing a 1-2 Macargo line. Macargo has that smooth over, so you can put a card on top of your deck, like Electro Power. Smooth over, or smooth over and then Struct and hit that card, which is really cool. Uh, we are playing 1-0 Or. It gives each of your Pokemon that has any Lightning, no Retreat cost. So it makes your Or and Gurus have a 0 Retreat, essentially, which is really nice. And 2 top Leather for Consistency. Now, we're playing a 1-2 Macargo line because we want to start with the EV. We have four EV, so we want to start with this Lightning Energy, get the Jolteon ASAP, and it's got free retreat as well, which is really nice. So, four Electro Power, uh, three Nest Ball. We need to try to find our uh, Slugmo or Ditto turn one. One Stretch to get back your Pokemon. Four Ultra Balls, of course, to maximum consistency. And we're playing three Ether Paradise Conservation Area. Each... Oh, hold on. No, we're not playing this anymore because Josh... Didn't forgot the second line, each basic lightning. Uh, as people are wondering, you know. So it's not that good. Okay, so Ether is definitely going out the window. So now you have three more spots. Forgot that it was only basics. Haven't really played lightning decks. Alright, so we got three spots. We'll figure that out as we go. Alright. 
So Thunder Mountain, the attacks of lightning Pokemon both of you and your opponents cost one lightning less, which means now your head bolts do 100 to damage. Your swift run does 100 to damage for just a single lightning. Uh, yeah, for a single lightning energy, right? It, yeah, it costs one lightning less. So that's fantastic. Um, it is a Prism Star, so once it's discarded, that's it. But when you put it down and you head bolt, you do 110 damage for one energy. Of course, it's easily accessible thanks to Makargo and Oranguru. Uh, two ace rolls pick up your Jolteons. I'm still iffy about that. Uh, we haven't played the deck yet, so we don't have no idea. Um, four Cynthia, of course, she'll draw six. Three Guzmas, we might be bumping to the four here in a second. Uh, three Lily, so we can draw more with the Makargo. And then three Volkner. Now, Volkner is really strong because you can search for an item card and a lightning energy. Uh, this is going to let you grab your Electro Chargers and a lightning energy, and you're good to go. Uh, three choice band for the map, you know, to do additional 30 damage and 10 lightning energy. So we have three extra spots. Uh, let's see. I think we just want to add like more consistency. Oh, I didn't go back Zero Aura. Um, Zero Aura is in here because you're a lighting Pokemon. Oh, we have no retreat. Duh. Um, Top you lately for the you know, support. Let me see something. Um, I'm trying to see what has weakness to what. Just Top Coco is weak to fighting, right? Oh, he's not. All right, so we're gonna play Tapu Koko in here. Um, this is gonna be good against Buzzwell because Skyhawk Claws does 130 with Choice Band 160, and yeah, that's yeah, it's really nice. He has no fighting weakness. We have that in there. That's good. Um, let's see. Let's bump a fourth Lily in there, so we have more use out of Macargo, and let's go to the fourth Guzma. So we have max amount of Pokemon to bring up. So yeah, we have the max draw with four Cynthia, four Lily. And three Volkner. All right, see, I'm fine with this list. Um, we really don't need to get back any energies. The most we're going to use is three, or for yeah, three with Tapu Koko GX. We're really probably not going to use Tapu Thunder unless it's like a last resort. It just Jolteon's attack is just too strong to like. We just don't get take it. We just don't get knocked out. So let's save this. Yeah, like I said, Tapu Koko is going to be good against those Buzzle decks. What is happening right now? Okay, put this here. Uh, Jolteon GX. All right, so let's save. New deck to save. Let's go to Versus. So we, we learned something new here. Um, like I said, we don't, I don't really play uh, Lightning anymore, really. So I forgot that's only for basics. That would be really good for this deck, but it doesn't work. I was like, oh, we're going to reduce our damage by 30. Just kidding. We're not anymore. All right, so we got the top. Oh, what do we do against, like... Hoopa, hmm, I don't know. Against Hoopa, I guess you just probably lose, right? So if we're against MDMM, oh, we got the advantage, supposedly. We'll see. Uh, call heads, like always. We won the coin flip. All right, yes, on to our turn. Uh, no tag team just yet. Great. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, we start with the hard one from the start. We were playing against Buzzwell Ninetales. Hmm. Okay, so let's lightning the active. Let's Ultra Ball away the Jolteon and Choice Ban. I want to keep the Ace Rule next turn if we go on top of Lele if need be. I'm going to grab another Lele. And then, let's see, our Coco is in there, so that's really nice. Grab the Lele, okay. <clears throat> we'll play down the Lele. We'll Lily for five. Everything else in hand seems pretty good right now, so I kind of want to Lily for five new cards. Let's see, so we'll grab the Lele. We'll Lily for five. So we got the Oranguru. Do we put down the Eevee? It just seems like so risky with Jolteon just weak to fighting. I really don't want to put it down on all this matchup. So I'm just going to press done right now and see what happens. I mean, my opponent really can't do much with Sledgehammer. Yeah, he gets swing for 30. And they put a Lightning and we hit for 60. Uh, yep, there's the fighting that I thought. Okay. There's a Lily for 4. Okay. Uh, next turn, we can put a Lightning in the active and a swing for 60. What I'm scared about is this rock evolve evolve into lichen rock. Hmm. Oh, we discard the B string. Okay. 
There's no Vulpix. Now, do we target on the Vulpix? We could. Um, <clears throat> one thing we could do this turn. Hmm. We could put down Eevee, Lightning for Jolteon, bring up the Vulpix, do 30, and 30 to this guy. Or 30 to this guy, and then Jolteon can one-shot the Buzz with the following turn if we use our GX attack, and then Light Rock hit duty damage to us. So let's go that route. Let's put this down. Let's put down a Lightning Energy. Yes, I don't see the other Jolteons in there. Okay, there's a Jolteon. That's good. So grab a Jolteon. We haven't found a Slugma either, but I really don't want to put it down. Well, Guzma, bring up the Vulpix, send in the Jolteon. We will Electro Power. Mm. Could take a knockout with a Lycanroc if he uses his GX tech. But right now, I'm fine with just Electro Bullet. Doing 30. I'm going to do 30 to this Buzzwell. Okay. <clears throat> so we go down to five price cards. We find out Volkner. Um, Volkner will allow us to get. A lightning energy and electro charger. Okay. So there's a counter or blend energy going there. We see this same thing. A new hand of six. There's a buzzwall, buzzwall, Brooklyn Hill. For Deontay. Oh, is this legend going to knock us out? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's going to do 160. All right. So on to our turn. Oh, it could have been Brooklyn Hill, and, but I don't think there's anything we can really grab with it. Yeah, there's nothing we can grab the Brooklyn Hill. Um, is someone be safe in Volkner? Grab an Electro Power and a Lightning Energy. And to kind of do what he wants to do, he has to hit Lycanroc and Guzma this turn. So put a Lightning Energy here. We'll Electro Power. And Swift Run. Oh no, I didn't mean to play the Electro Power. The Electro Power was supposed to stay in my hand. No, Josh. No, 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 no. No. Oh my goodness. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How does this always happen? Okay. <sighs> Great. The plan was to keep the Electro Power in my hand, Ultra Ball for the Top of Coco, get that Top of Coco, use the Electro Power to hit for 160, Choice Band 190 to knock out the Buzzwall. Um, some, I don't know. All right, so this is on our turn now. Okay. We can Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Grab the top of Coco. We'll play the top of Coco. One, two, three. Um, we could Ace Rolla. Um, but I'm on Cynthia. He still has Beast Ring range, which is kind of scary. But he has to use. Absorption GX, maybe. So I'm just going to put a choice ban on the Tapu Lele, on this and the fresh one. Same thing with New Hand of Six. Hmm. This. First, uh, for nothing right now. This for the Slugma. Okay. Uh, we'll just Skyhawk Claws for 130. Now, he's still in Beast Ring, in beast ring mode, so he can, be, like, if he finds the Nine Tails, he can Beast Ring mode. And then we're in a little bit of trouble for sure. Um, because we did attach a Lightning Energy to CERN. And my plan was to put a Lightning Energy to Lele, and then maybe have it some, some enough damage, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen this turn. Does he have a Nine Tails? Okay, no, just a fight. Okay. But that doesn't mean anything. He could just have a dead hand right now. Yeah, we're just going to jet punch. So he's going to um, do 30, probably to the Jolteon. So we need to find the ace roll this turn. What do we top deck? Macargo? A Guzma. Okay. 
So the Guzma is good here because we get Guzma, bring up his Rockruff, take a knockout. Yeah, so we're going to bring up the Rockruff, send our Jolteon, retreat, and take a knockout. Because that's what I'm really scared of is this um, this Lycanroc this coming down. So take a knockout, go down to two. Okay, to Cynthia. Okay. <clears throat> so you can't knock out my Tapu Koko. It has too much HP. Um, okay. Another Rock Ruff. Does he play more than one counter game, you think? Tapu Lele. Alrighty. Let's see, what's he gonna get with the Tapu Lele, I wonder, guys? What does he get with the Tapu Lele? Maybe a Cynthia. Um, <clears throat> that seems like the best thing. He's definitely knocking out. <clears throat> For sure, there's a Cynthia, okay. There's a Ninetales, which it doesn't do too much now. He's at a beast brief beast ring road, so that's good. Um, yeah, switch and choice span. I don't know what that's gonna get him right now. So choice span this guy, fighting energy. <clears throat> Three he's gonna do 90, bring it to 140. Um, oh, one, okay, no, 130. So that's good. I did the math wrong in my head. All right, so down to the Jolteon onto our turn. Let's see. So we got a Lightning. Okay. So I'm going to Nest Ball first, see what's left in my deck. So we got a Jolteon. All right, so we're going to press Done. I'm going to grab the Eevee Lightning. Yes. For Jolteon. We can Volkner for a Lightning Energy and an Ultra Ball. Okay. We can Ultra Ball, discard. Well, let's see. Is there a Tapu Lele in here? There's not. Okay, so we discard one and two for the or for the, the Macargo. We'll put down Macargo. We'll smooth over a Guzma for next turn. And we will just instruct for one. Alrighty, so we have win next turn, um, hypothetically, right? So Skyhawk calls for 130. We have the Guzma to bring up the Boswell. I don't if it, the only thing he can do right now is judge us. Because this Jolteon can knock out this Buzzwall. Tiger Coco showing its work. Um, the not being able to hurt our Jolteon probably hurt, helped as well. There's a Lycanroc coming up. We don't really care about this too much. Bringing up the Jolteon, like I said, not too concerning. If this Tapu Koko GX had 30 HP left, I would be scared. But right now what we can do is Guzma, bring up the Buzzwall. Uh, she can knock out the Tapu Koko GX unless he can Ace roll it right now. Choice Ban. I think we got the game, guys. I think we got this. Yep, yeah, there's Danger Rogue GX. Taking the knockout on our Jolteon GX. Dude, 600 damage. My opponent was a little struggling there, um, but he definitely relies on this Ninetales that we took out early in the game. So we'll go for Guzma. We'll bring it the Buzzwall. Send over Tapu Koko. And we'll just Skyhawk Claws for 130. Taking the knockout. And there we go. There's game one. Playing against a Buzzwall deck. And uh, still managed to pull it out. We didn't even need my cargo, really. Uh, we did a huge misplay playing that early um, Electro Power. That could have came in clutch, like definitely for sure, to maybe knock out the Buzzwood one turn because we could have Electro Power. Volkner for the Electro Power, and then we could have sniped it as well in the bench and kind of secured it uh, for the knockout. So, but still, that was a pretty good game. Pretty good game. I think taking out the, the like, the, the knockout of the Vulpix was, like, one of the key plays. Like, at first, I didn't want to put it down. But as soon as he put down the Vulpix, I was like, all right, we got to take this out. We know he discarded one of his Electro Powers already. Or, electric, yeah, electric, or not, he didn't discard one of his Electro Powers. He discarded one of his B-Strings already. So, I know he was down to low hands or low B-Strings. So, that was pretty good, right? So, he, he well, whatever, lost coin flip, which is not bad because we get attack turn one with our Jolteons. Hey, we actually have a good start compared to last time, right? Um, we got Thunder Mountain, which we're going to save. No need to put it down right now. We're definitely just going to Ultra Ball discard the Volkner and maybe something we top deck. Um, get a Lele. Lele for a bunch. 
and then we'll see where we go from there. So there's Rayquaza GX. Now, this is kind of scary because Rayquaza can one-shot us pretty easily, but with Thunder Mountain, we can be immune. Uh, it's Rayquaza the following turn, and then we can take another knockout. There's a Shuckle, which is going to help him get some energies, okay? So we see the Shuckle. Um, yeah, so you can search for three basic energies and put them in his discard pile. Then he can put down another Quaz as GX. It's kind of guaranteed the energy attached for this turn. There's a Lightning, and that's it. Okay, so we will put a Lightning here. Yes. How many Jolteons are in our deck? So we got two. We got one left after this. We got the Stretcher. All right, so we got the Jolteon. Yeah, I am just going to Ultra Ball discard the Volkner and the Jolteon. I want to keep my Lightning because we don't play that many of them. So grab the Lele. We'll Lele for Lily. Draw in uh, five new cards. Yep. We'll grab the Lily. And what does Lily provide? He's not really threatening anything. If he takes a knock on next turn, I'd be really surprised. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, put down the Eevee. Nah, this for Slugma. So we get my cargo out next turn. That's pretty good. We're looking really, really good. The only thing is, oh, we probably should have got the Ring Roo instead. I uh, almost passed there. Um. The only thing is we don't have a guaranteed knockout next turn unless we top deck something, right? So do 30 and 30. But I mean, he's not going to do too much either, right? So that's good. Um, we can do 140 with a swift run. We need, uh, okay, there's a Guzma. Bring up the Slugma. That's fine. Energy <laughs> drink. Okay, that's fine. That's a good play. You know, you get some energies back on his Rayquazas. What are we talking about? A lightning. All right, so. Mm, I think we revolve in a Jolteon. Put a lightning. Guzma, bring this up. Bring this up. Even though our hand was bad, we hit the Guzma. We will electro bullet for the knock on the shuckle. We go down to five. We get a choice span. This will allow us to knock on next turn um, without even playing the electro power, which is really nice. We can choice ban, take a knockout, go down to three. Then we have choice ban the following turn. We could do a significant amount of damage with that. Maybe knock on another Rayquaza. Uh, we also can like save our Thunder Mountain if we need to. Um, so it gets an energy there. So three, six, nine. That's eight hit. Yeah, like even if he takes a knockout, which I don't know if he will or not this turn. Because <clears throat> part of me just like wants to attach a lightning. Choice ban. Do we choice pair or not? 3, 6, 9, 12. He's doing 120. I think we put a lightning on the bench. Retreat, choice, knockout with the GX tack. And then we just wait. And then next turn, we can maybe electric power plus choice pair for a knockout on this guy. Yeah, I think that's fine. So Tempest. He just go to Tempest here, actually. He discards his, th his own third. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got his own Thunder Mountain. That's funny. Oh, we hit the Macargo. That's good. So grab Macargo. We'll put a Lightning. We had to put down the Choice Span. We'll smooth over a Cynthia. We could get Volkner and guaranteed a knockout next turn. But we'll go Cynthia. We'll go for a Swift Run GX for the knockout. All right, 140. We go down to three. Get a Cynthia and a Tapu Lele. Wow, two cards. <laughs> Great. Should have put Electro Power on top instead. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I mean, uh, we can one-shot this next turn. Like, Headbolt, Electro Power. We can Tapu Lele for another Electro Power and take a knockout. He's not even threatening a knockout right now, right? So we see another Closet GX come down. Discarded some stuff. Like, we're looking good to go. I, there's no way he's stacking this turn. Is there an aura coming down? That's great. Another Quasa GX coming down. That's great. He needs like multiple energy switches and stuff like that. Um, I just don't see him attacking this turn. He's got three Wish Baton on the bench. Wish Baton on the bench. We don't play any of Field Blowers. Good put down the deck. Uh, Pal Pad. Okay. Guzma. Guzma. Yeah. Those are two good cards put in your deck. Mm hmm. Ultra Ball. Discards a Grass and Cynthia. Let's see what he gets here. Another Shuckle. 
Now, if he puts them in a shuckle and attacks with it, I mean, yeah, he gets more energy than the discard pile. Yeah, it looks like he is going to go for shuckle and Lily for six. <whistles> like, my play next turn is just to wait. Like, we don't go anything. We maybe retreat and attack with, like, the bench Jolteon, and then we, like, one-shot it with the headbolt, and the next turn, we just, like, double Electro Power knockout or something. Um, yeah, we get Smooth over an Electro Power, have double Electro Power for 160. Santia, if he knocks out a Choice Bin one. I mean, I don't see how we're going to lose this game. I'm going to be real honest. All right, so on our turn, we'll put it this here. We'll Macargo for another smooth over. We'll, we'll Macargo the Electro Power. There we go. Talking is hard. We'll retreat into the other Jolteon. And we'll just headbolt from the knockout. We go down to two. We know our next card is Electro Power. So we do additional 60. And then headbolt plus choice band. 200 damage. Taking the knockout. And uh, showing how strong this deck is, right? So it looks like he does have a Guzma, and this is what's happening. But we have Tapu Lele. We grab another Electro Power, do an additional 60 damage, or another additional 90 damage, and that will take a knockout. So Mysterious Treasure, probably grabbing the Lele for Guzma to knock out the Choice Banded. Um, unless he goes Mars Shadow. That could be something he could do here. But it looks like he grabs nothing, okay? That's fine with me as well. There's the Guzma. Bringing up Tapu Lele, actually. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, he actually doesn't have enough to knock us out right now. Wow. So, Dragon Break. Yeah, I wanted to try to slow Rayquaza for sure. Like, right? He. I just. Yeah, I don't see this Shuckle variant being very fast. We're a lot faster. So, we'll Electro Power. We'll Electro Power. We need to, like, smooth over Electro Power again. But we'll just um, Head Bolt for uh, 200 damage. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, the Wish Baton's activating right now. So, yeah. There we go. I mean, we played... We showed how fast this deck is. Did we play another game with it? Uh, no, that, I think it's going to be it. We showed how, like, strong Jolteon is, right? It's very... My opponent didn't really have anything. Both my opponents... Okay, let's play one more game. One more game. One more game. We'll play one more. One more. And then, like I said, tomorrow we're playing Vaporeon... And then Wednesday, we got a little we got a little league challenge vlog. We got third place this weekend, uh, putting us at 151 points. If anybody's keeping up, there you go. We played Zorark, my one of my favorite decks of uh, probably past couple like these past two years. It's definitely been Zorark. So you know, played it again, and uh, I think it went pretty well. It went pretty well. Unfortunately, our first round loss was against a Chimeco deck. All right, so opponent has the advantage, but we have a three win streak. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I'm excited. We lost the coin flip again, but remember, we're playing four Eevees. Um, definitely... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Start Ditto. <laughs> All right. I mean, besides that, our hand looking, it looks really good, I think, right? Okay, so press done. Man, I just hate that it's Ditto, because, like... Hmm... We can't attack this turn. And he's just staring at Ditto like, what is happening? Alright, so Nest Ball. What is a Snubble? A Grand Ball main? Let's see what he gets here. Is it is a Grand Ball? Now, one thing we could put in the deck is like Phil Bars. Like I said, we don't play any. Um, the field boards could be useful against the shrine decks because we only play the one stadium card. So that could be really significant for us. Um, especially if this is a Grand Bull deck, right? They definitely have the advantage over us. But right now, we're going to Nest Ball for Navy. Tapu Coco. Okay. Simeon. Alrighty. This is going to be a tough matchup here. This card's a Tapu Lele, so it's a spread deck. I don't know how we do against, like, these non-GX decks. I'm not going to lie to you. I think we probably have the disadvantage for sure. Hmm. But we'll see. All right, Acrobike. This card's a Basimian. Okay, that Basimian is actually really good against us. Kind of... Mm. All right, DC there. Yeah, the, the plan is definitely to knock out the Basimian. Choice Ban. Kikui. 
So they have a bad hand right now. My opponents just seem to be doing that. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't, is it good to bring it up right now? I don't think so. Okay, put that down. Put a lightning. Yes. I'm gonna Ultra Ball one and two for an Orangaroo. I'm gonna keep the Guzman hand. Let's grab the Orangaroo. We don't even, okay, we do one shot. Thank you, Luke. Thankfully. All right, instruct from one. Double Guzma. All right, Lily. So we got the lightning for next turn. So right now we'll just press, uh, uh, done. Nothing else we can really do here. Coco can come up and start flying flipping if he does have a Guzma of his own. If he has Guzma of his own, we're in trouble. Um, yeah, we're just going to Guzma bring out the Pacimian. I think we save our GX tech for, no, I think we just, no, I definitely think we use our GX tech next turn. Great. Brings up the Orangaroo. Okay, so he's doing this because he thinks he's gonna like stall us out, but he doesn't really have double Guzma in hand. <coughs> Fly flip, 20 there, buddy, all right. Well, Guzma, bring up a Simeon, send Jolteon. Lightning, Swift Run, GX for the knockout. Go down to five prize cards. An EV, okay. Top of Coco. Mm, another Basimian, but we're immune right now, okay. What we can do is like put down EV, Lightning, bring up the Basimian, take a knockout on Basimian again. He's gonna knock out the Ditto this turn. All right, there's a counter. It doesn't hurt us right now because we are immune. And there's a Lily for a couple, okay. Shrine ticking off. And this is what I'm concerned about, right? The Shrine ticking off every turn. Nest Ball probably for the other Persimian. That's what I imagine is what we're going to see here. But at any moment, we could also Coco, Coco a Sorola at the same turn, which could be really nice. He's going to knock on the Ditto. A Ranguru takes some damage. His, oh, okay, another Ranguru come down. Ultra Ball for another Orangaroo, uh, for the other Passimian, I imagine. He's got to have the other Passimian. My Cargo, okay. Okay, then he gets Smooth Over Passimian. Like, I definitely think we will see another Passimian come down. Uh, smooth Over. I think we, have, we play, like, four Guzma, so we constantly keep targeting these guys, which is really good for us. All right. Zero or you're definitely not getting placed down, buddy. You're just gonna get one shot to like nowhere near, you know, like you're just gonna get blown up and struck. I imagine we'll see a Basimi coming here. I'm not too scared of the rock curl unless he gets a choice spin. Then that's like what? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's still not enough. So there's the other Basimi. It goes down to five. Try and kick it off. Alright. So get the EV. Attach a lightning. Energy evolution, yes. We'll find another Jolteon. We'll Guzma. Bring it to Passamian. Take a knockout. We'll retreat. Um, Headbolt for knockout. We're doing exact damage. All these guys are at 110 HP, which is nice. We go down to four. The shrine damage is taken off, though. Hmm. Alrighty. He's got three in hand. We got four. He's got five prize cards. Zico coming up. The, the shrine ticking off again. <clears throat> Luckily, we can Volkner for an Ultra Ball Lightning. And we can start using Tapu Coco next turn, which is definitely going to be our saving grace, I think, in this match again, right? We can Volkner, Coco, GX. Uh, start swinging. We're not weak to Persimian, which is nice, as long as he doesn't get Persimian down to knock us out. So DC attached to the Coco. Which is fine with me. Judge, no! Our hand was really good. Okay. Hmm. So he has 90 on the field right now. Okay. 
Zeror, get away from me. I don't want to play you, buddy. <laughs> uh, if only Nesbot went to her hand, then we could grab the type of Coco and be fine, but we don't, unfortunately. Flying flip, doing 20 there, buddy. All right, let's try and kick it off, of course, on our turn. The other Ranguru, okay. I think it's fine to put down a Ranguru. I think it's fine attaching a Choice Band. I think it's fine doing Electro Power. I think it's fine playing the Nest Ball for the Slugma. Or do we hold the Slugma? Okay, we'll get the Slugma when struck for two. Give me an Ultra Ball. Yes. Yeah, well, Ultra Ball. One and two. Grab the Tapu Coco GX. All right, we'll put down Tapu Coco GX. Get one, two, three. Wedge struck for three. Find me an Ace Roller. All right, so this is good. All right, so Skyhawk calls for knockout. Next turn, we get Ultra Ball for Macargo. Smooth over an ace roll to pick up the damage of Jolteon. And if we can do it again for this Jolteon, if we topic a lightning, we're looking really good. Oh my goodness, the Coco coming out of nowhere. Whoa, dude, this deck's so busted. Like, I thought we were going to lose, but man, we might actually have a chance here. Oh my goodness. All right, Coco coming up, trying to take it off again. Okay, we could smooth over... The stadium at any point as well. I think next time we're definitely going to like pick up this Jolteon. So Shrine's not doing that much damage, right? I think that's probably the better play. Um, the, the, the spread is a little annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. But I think we're okay here. Um, being able to train these ace rolls is what's going to save us, I think. So Stretcher. Okay. Remember, we're not weak to fighting. All right. Three of his teammates going to the deck. Okay. We actually could knock out the Ringaroo if he puts up the active because we have Electro Powers in our hand. Oh, we have to do 130 regardless, so who cares? So, Guzma. Okay. So, that's going to take a knockout, but this is great because he can't do a pull of Deontay playoff. So, he's going to go down to 3. We're going to take a knockout and go down to 2. He might be able to knock us out, maybe. Struck for one, okay. That's fine. He's gonna take a knockout. Choice ban. Oh, okay, no. Four, five, six. Okay, is this a knockout now? 140, 190. Okay, that's perfect numbers. Proud of him. Goes down to three. We'll send it to the top of Coco GX. Own our turn. Top deck ace roller. That's pretty good. Um, But I kind of want to save it. Um, Ultra Ball, one and two, for the Macargo. We'll put down Macargo. Play, no, we'll just, yeah, let's play this. Smooth over the Acerola, okay. And struck for two. Get the Acerola. <clears throat> Alrighty. And then I think we just wait here. I think we just Skyhawk Claws for the knockout. Do 130. Okay, go down to two price cards. We find a choice span. Um, two Guzmas have been played. We do have an Ace Roller left. Um, do we have, do we have a, I think we have another Jolteon in the deck. If we do have another Jolteon in the deck and he doesn't judge us, then we pretty much got game on lock because at any point we can use Swift Run or Headbolt, sorry, for 110 to knock out pretty much anybody we want to except for this Oranguru. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to start smooth over stuff we need. Like I said, as long as he doesn't play another Judge here, we're fine. If he plays another Judge, we're a little bit in trouble. He's still got to somehow knock out the top of Coco. Um, which is very hard by itself. All right, so there's another Bissimian coming down. I don't care about the Bissimians, really. They do not hurt my top of Coco GX. We see an Ultra Ball discarding double Shrines. He has three Shrines. We put down our Thunder Mountain now. 
Oh my goodness. Seems tempting, right? So steam may come down. Don't care about that. Smooth over. Hmm. What do we do, guys? We have so many options. Counter there, okay. Lily for six. Like team play is doing three. It does three, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. It does a hundred. Hmm. All right, let's mess up his math some. I don't know what his math is, but we'll do that. Oh no, we need to keep Thunder Mountain, Josh. Mm, eight. Ooh. Okay, so we need Guzma for next turn. All right. Oh, we didn't have Lele in the hand. We need a lightning next turn. Ah, uh, no. Choice ban, choice ban. And struck for one to get the Guzma for next turn. Um, Skyhawk Claws for 130 for knockout. Yeah, definitely should have held him to the Thunder Mountain, Josh. We're waiting to hold the Thunder Mountain, Josh. We have a lightning for next turn. All right, so we have game on board next time. We got the Guzma, we got the Lightning. He only has 150 on the field. That's not enough to take out three price cards. All right, we'll see here. Does he have another judge? That's the question. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, so Nest Ball, so you guess, maybe the Deonces, the only thing I really think, but even then, like he doesn't have enough damage on the field to even do that play. Maybe another Basimian, but even then, there's not a Basimian in the field to take a knock on this guy. Uh, he's going to go for another Basimian. That's not enough. How many counters has he played? Two so far. I think we got this game, guys. I think we have this. Like, I would be surprised if we don't have this. Oh, my goodness. Like, I was so worried, um, but now I'm not. Like, Tapu Koko just helps us so much in these fighting math like these fighting base decks and there we go taking the win against the spread deck oh my goodness so there we go guys there <laughs> look at the stats <laughs> it's so funny to me uh so yeah i think that like wow this deck is really good like wow i can't wait to see this with jirachi and zapdos and stuff um i don't is it zapdos is the new zapdos weak i mean this deck still might be fine um let me check something real quick yeah, because this, this Zapdos looks like he's weak to fighting. Oh, no, he's resistant to fighting. Okay, so that's still good. But he doesn't do as much damage as... Yeah, because this Zapdos does 80. And that's not as much as the 130 Skyhawk calls. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, this Jolteon deck seems so good right now, right? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, I think Jolteon's fine by itself. Maybe maybe there's some tinkering we do with this list. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're looking forward to Jolteon. I'm excited. It looks like it's a really good deck to play. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching Monday. Have a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow for Vaporeon to see how good that deck is. Alrighty, guys. Bye.